What is going on Halo fans, Luke the Notable here. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to get an unfrig on this map, March on Stormbreak. This tactic may work on other maps, but it works best for March on Stormbreak. Now this will work best if you're using the Hannibal Wasp, so if you have that, you're in good shape. However, this will also work with any other types of Wasp and the Phaeton. I do apologize to any of you out there that may not have the wrecks that I'm doing in these videos, but as this series gets into the later parts, I want to do more specific tactics that require certain wrecks. Play the match like you would any other, and then once you get to level 5, head back to the wreck station as you can see I'm doing here. At level 5, you should have access to the Wheelman Armor mod. You want to make sure to always put this on anytime you're using any vehicles, and we're using the Hannibal Wasp. Wreck the Hannibal Wasp, and then make your way over to the fortress. You'll want to make quick work of anything in the sky on your way there. You don't want to kind of duck things. You want to make sure that you are the only thing in the sky. In fact, this method works best if you have a few teammates on the ground, maybe just one or two, holding things like arc lights or rocket launchers to kill any air vehicles. As you'll see later in this video, those are going to be your biggest threat. Once you've made your way to the fortress, just lay your wasp on top of the fortress like so. If you continuously accelerate downward, you will push your wasp into the roof of the fortress, making you lay flush with it. Because the fortress in March on Stormbreak is the highest point for the most part in the whole map, this is going to offer great coverage. The strategy once you're up here is to take it very slow, poke up like I just did, get a guy and then go right back down. Players a lot of times don't realize that you're there as you're not in their immediate view and you can take them by surprise like I did with these two players that were going after a boss. You don't even have to put yourself in harm's way when you're placing the little mines that the Hannibal Wasp has. You can just place them from the top of here as well by aiming up just a tiny little bit. You'll be surprised how many people walk into these things without realizing what they are. Sometimes you can poke out for longer and get multi-kills when people start to bunch up. You can use your different weapons to really knock up a big streak here. You can see here pretty easily I get an overkill without even coming in harm's way of anything. Your biggest threat is going to come from other air vehicles that spawn in, especially at the fortress because they'll get the first couple shots on you like this wasp. It's a regular wasp but it did a lot of damage to me because it got the first couple missiles on me. This is the reason why if you are going for an unfrig, you should have someone on your team that's just spawning in an arc light and waiting to see if anyone spawns in. You know, maybe take turns. One of you gets to be the wasp guy, one of you gets to be the arc light guy. You know, it could work like that. This clip shows the defensive capabilities of this position. I can pop up with my Hannibal Wasp, get a few shots in on this anti-air wraith, and if I'm careful, if I'm careful and don't get too crazy with it, I could kill this thing by just poking at it. I can move to different areas of the roof. You can see he thinks he's on. I'm on the left, and I can shoot him from the right. I can move over back to the left like I do here, pop up, and shoot him there. You can see he keeps shooting at the right because he doesn't know where I'm coming up from. I can see him, but he can't see me. There may be points where people start to focus you, and that means they come after you because they know you have a high score streak. This is probably compounded for me because I'm playing on my Luke the Notable Gamer tag, people don't want me to get unfrigs and post it to my channel and stuff like that. You just really need to watch out for things like Banshees. As you can see, I came out on top, but I'm also totally on fire. If you're truly going for the unfrig, don't worry about saving your wrecks. Just wreck a new Hannibal Wasp anytime something like that happens. It's very easy, and if you're not a person that gets a lot of unfrigs or wrecks a lot of stuff, it's totally worth it. If they're pushed back into an armory and you really need some kills, you can also kind of hover on some of these other surfaces it's not as good because you're a little bit more open but it does work pretty well you can see here I can sit on top of their core and still have a lot of good cover and kill them as they're coming out of it like I said before this can work for multiple maps this is skirmish at dark star but it doesn't work as good as March on Stormbreak. that's the snow map I showed you earlier because on a lot of other maps you have flat surfaces like the fortress there but they're not the highest point and that leaves you open to rocket fire arc lights and pretty much everything else that could kill a wasp and that's pretty much it guys i want to thank you all for watching i hope you all get unfrigs i know that a lot of you have watched parts one and two and gotten an unfrig thanks to that in this particular gameplay that you've been watching i was actually uh, 39 and 0 was right on the edge of getting that unfrig this wasp came in i thought business as usual i'll just shoot him with my you know little things but i ended up dying a lot quicker than i should have i mean only three rockets ended up killing me right before the unfrig too I mean, maybe if I wasn't on my Luke the Notable Gamer tag, it would have been different. Maybe I would have survived. Maybe they wouldn't have uh, gone straight for me as much. But you know what? Who cares? Live and let live, I guess. I did end up rage quitting, though. So, you know, there's that. 
I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you get your unfrig. I know people that have watched parts one and two have messaged me saying they got their unfrig thanks to those videos. Please comment down below with any suggestions for future episodes. In the top left, you can click my logo to subscribe. And in the right, I have chosen a video specifically for you guys. Thank you all for watching. Stay notable, and I'll see you in the next one.